we need to remember that the God that we come in here and worship week in and week out is holy. And I just think that we take that for granted too much. I think that we just kind of give that a nod and a yawn and we don't think about the holiness of the God that we worship, His purity and His, His righteousness and how He is undefiled and how He is perfect. And yet, this God who is this way chose to love you and me. Think of how He's pictured in the law. Think about the Holy of Holies in the tabernacle. Only the high priest could go in there. Nobody else could go in there or they would die. Think about the fact that if someone touched the Ark of the Covenant, they would die. It had poles. You could carry it on poles, but you could not touch that thing. It was the power, the presence of God. In the Ten Commandments, he would say, there are no other gods before me. Have no other gods before me. Do not worship idols. Do not serve any idols. This is the holy God that we worship. And there's a strong emphasis in today's world on the love of God absent the holiness of God. And yes, God is love and God is compassionate. But I want to remind you today that God is holy. And I want to remind you today that you don't really, we don't really understand the love of God if we don't understand His holiness. It, it is what makes God's love so pure and undefiled, the fact that He is perfect and that He is righteous and that He is holy as He is, and yet a God like that would love us. And when we understand the holiness of God, we get that sense and that vision of who He is. When Isaiah saw the Lord high and lifted up, he said, I'm unworthy, I'm a man of unclean lips, I live in the midst of an unclean people. To understand the holiness of God and resultingly the love of God, it should humble us. It should move us. And I just think we're too casual with it. You don't understand the purity of the love of God and what was done in the cross of Christ apart from the fact that the holy God of the universe, the righteous Lamb of God, died for us.